In this video, Tubineers, I'll be showing you how to get unlimited money, and it can also get up your speechcraft. But, uh, I'm not, there's probably better ways to get up your speechcraft. I'm not suggesting do this to get up your speechcraft the best way, but you can get unlimited money doing this, and it's quite helpful. All you gotta do is find a way to get out of Whiterun. There's many ways to get out, but I'm gonna give you examples of two that I know of, and they're kind of difficult. I make it look easy, but... They, they can be kind of difficult, so don't give up after a couple tries. Like, man, why didn't Rifle Gaming warn me about this nipple twister? Well, let's put it this way, man. Don't get upset and go beat your meat ferociously until your dick turns raw and you can no longer do it anymore. Because that would just be very strangely odd. I don't expect you to get... What the hell? Does that always happen to me? Oh, hey, hey, loquacious thunder curves. Didn't think she'll ever message me back. I had to send that real quick. Giggity, giggity. I'll give her more than just a pinch on the nipples. I'll insert my hand right in between her crater. Ah, uh, back on subject. Enough of this. Wait, what? This bitch had the nerve to ask me if I had $100 she can borrow. This girl's a gold digger. Hell no, suck on my nipples. She'll understand. Why why is girls not like me if I don't give them money? It always happens. I'm gonna make them feel the wrath of the nipple god, and I'm gonna stick my huge wiener inside their mouthpiece and then stick it inside their eye socket. That's called a skull fuck if you didn't realize it yet. I'm not even gonna let her shake my little nipples. Anyways, yes, once you're up here behind the Skyforge Eagle, you will penetrate right inside its behemoth ass, and you will go underneath the map, and here's the chest. Okay, now here's the trick of getting infinity money. Listen closely. All you gotta do is loot the chest, wait two days, and then talk to the owner and say, what do you have for trade? I will demonstrate how it's done, but it's pretty simple, and every time you, uh, loot his chest he will have a thousand gold at least you can pick up the armor too and like carry it to his shops and maybe sell it that way but i'd suggest just getting a thousand gold and while you're just sitting there waiting two days every time just get on the computer or watch tv while you're waiting two days it's not hard and it takes all right you wait like 30 minutes into doing this you'll have like probably twenty thousand gold and it's all beneficial too like you can Go to and to a city and buy a giant house and take a giant orc that's a female, of course, and motorboat the shit out of her titties. Like, <laughs> make sure it's all like that, and that'll get the girl perfectly erected. Or you can go buy you a stainless steel dildo and use it to stab someone right in the crevice. That will definitely get the picture of you're rich, bitch, and don't mess with me or I will slap you, ho. All right, no. Just no. I, I'm way too white to even try to say that. And I hope this helped all the Skyrim fans get rich. And I hope you don't tend to be like me and run into gold diggers. Because let me tell you, it's a very big pain. Like imagine steaming irons that you sting close. Imagine those placed right upon your nipples. Anyways, hope this guide helped you guys. Please, stay up to date and get rich or die trying. Peace out, Girl Scouts. Rifle Gaming, uh. out. Eat. Oh, she's a gold digger. Way over time. That digs on me.